Like, how's it going, Ann? Good. How are you, Colin? Good. I'm getting a lot of customers asking me if they can do a bike registration without having a CBC. Does that make sense? Like, can we do that? We can do that. Oh, great. How do we do that? Let's find out. So today we're going to learn how to take an accurate bite registration using the target position from your Theragnostic report. So when you're preparing to start a theragnostic study and you're taking your impressions, it's very important to ensure that the patient's teeth go into that incisal groove on the trays. If they don't, that's going to skew your zero mark, so your end-to-end -end on those trays. And then at the end, when you get your target position, it's not going to properly uh, line up with the George gauge. So important when you're taking the impressions to ensure those teeth are in the groove and so this way your patient is at end to end and we know that our target position is going to be the same on the trays and on the George gauge. Got it. So it's always going to be the same but it's on the George gauge but it is in the trays. Right. And we chose zero because this is end to end. Every patient has end to end. So unlike the habitual retrusive and intrusive movements, which are going to be completely different for every patient. Right. Zero is across the board for everybody. Right. So zero is end to end. End to end. So we've completed our theragnostic study. We have our report. And now we're ready to... Ooh, I'm a responder. You are a responder. Lucky you. Great. <laughs> and we have our target position. So I just want to reiterate that the target position in this case is plus one, and that is plus one from end to end or zero, not from the patient's habitual bite. So in this case, Colin's habitual is minus three. And so we're actually protruding him four millimeters. So minus three to zero is three, and then plus one is four. Okay, so we got it. Okay. So again, the zero mark is kind of our standard for every patient and we're going from there, forward or backward, as needed given our target position. Okay. So I'm not being protruded one, I'm being protruded three. Correct. Got it. You got it, Colin. Okay. If we're going to use our CBCT to take our target position, we're going to set our trays using the TD clip. And now we have our target protrusion set and we are ready to do our CBCT scan. We have our target position and now we're gonna set our George gauge. So we're gonna insert the bite fork and then we're going to set it to our target position. It up. And now we can see that our lower teeth are slightly ahead of our upper teeth, which is our protrusive measurement from our report. So we've taken our George Gage bite. So now we have our George Gage bite or the trays, however you've decided to take your bite registration. So yep. now you can either send your bite fork to the lab with traditional impressions or use it to take your intraoral scans. This makes so much more sense to me now. I'm so glad we did this video. Excellent. If you guys have any other thoughts or comments, uh, please just go ahead and email or call us. We always love to hear what you have to think about this. Or if you want uh, other material for us to cover, we'd love to do that as well. Excellent. Bye. Bye-bye.